This is Twit. One of the most exciting things we've been looking at, staring at, longing for is seeing the real world performance of Mantle, AMD's technology that's going to give direct access from games to the GPU, hopefully giving them the mad acceleration. Early performance testing Battlefield 4 with Mantle on AMD. Mr. Shrouts, are you thrilled or did it turn out to be disappointing? I would say I'm in between those two answers. Um, it is, I think I am uh, cautiously optimistic about what uh, I saw, right? So if you if you look through those couple of uh, pages of results, um, like the first set of results doesn't look good where Mantle performs at about the same level as DirectX 11. Um and then the second set of results looks much better. So the, the kind of interesting thing that happened here is, you remember back to last week where um, EA released the Mantle Ready update, but there was no driver. Long story short, testing time was very constricted. And we had a, we had a pre-configured uh, Battlefield 4 test method that we have been using in our office for a while, right? So when we do graphics hard reviews or the APU reviews, like the Kaveri dual graphics testing we did, use Battlefield 4, and we had a specific test run that you use, something that you do over and over and over again, you get good at, you make sure that it's repeatable as, as can be um, for real world testing. Um, and that's what we tried to use initially to benchmark Mantle. And as the way our kind of frame rating system works is we're capturing a ton of data and then we kind of capture a whole bunch of data and then go analyze it, right? We put it into our scripts and we we see how they all compare and stack next to each other. So the unfortunate part for me is, you know, I would test Mantle and I would test DirectX 11 and kind of back and forth. Uh, and you wouldn't necessarily know right away what the result was until hours go by, you've done a whole bunch of testing and you go analyze it. So the 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 problem was, according to AMD, the section of the game that we were using for benchmarking, which was um, a single player level called SP Dam, D-A-M, I forget what the actual name of the, of the map is, um, but it apparently is a very CPU light portion of it. It's kind of, there's uh -huh. a, a large portion of it is kind of like pre-scripted as the camera kind of goes through certain areas on its own. Perfect for GPU testing, but not perfect for mm -hmm. uh, and trying to test CPU bound instances of a game as it turns yeah. out. So at the end of the day, we had done a ton of testing and the results that we got were like basically the worst case scenario for Mantle. Um, and that, that sucks, right? Like that's, uh, it, it makes AMD look bad even when it, they may not deserve it. Right. So, uh, kind of as a, uh, the, the rushed thing that we were able to do was, okay, I said, I don't have time to go through all these maps and find which ones are CPU limited and GPU limited. Let's go, what do I know is CPU limited? And that's multiplayer maps, especially like 64 player loaded servers, multiplayer maps. So I was like, all right, let's go benchmark some of those. And in those, if you look at the second page of graphs a little bit further down, well, you see the best case scenario, it's actually a little bit, a little bit further down than that. Um, the next collection of them, you'll see um, that the, Frame rates are actually much, much better for Mantle than DirectX 11. Yeah, this, this is the set that we're looking at here. So that's, um, that's your frame times. And if you go down to the next graph below that, you'll see the frame rates, the average frame rate. So we're actually getting a boost of from 51 to 71 frames per second going from DX11 to Mantle. That's 27%. It's a significant performance increase. It's actually pretty impressive.